Hey there, Utes. I'm Ben Jasarovic. And I'm Rachel Mon. Welcome to the Inside Swoop. If you're interested in art, the Utah Museum of Fine Arts has several exhibits that you can see with free with your UID starting at 10 a.m. The Tacita Jean exhibit runs until May 4th. The Savage Poem Around Me by Alfred Lamborn Gallery will be shown through June 15th. Also, the Living Gallery imaging the effects of air pollution available at the art building. There are also several dance performances going on this week on campus. The Gallum Dance is Tuesday and Wednesday at Kingsbury Hall from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Odyssey Dance will be performing Dance Fever on Wednesday at 7.30 and Thursday at 2 p.m. at Kingsbury Hall. Tickets are $20 to $40. They will also be performing Romeo and Juliet on Tuesday and Friday at 7.30. There are also a lot of music events this week. On Wednesday, the Campus Symphony will perform at the Libby Gardner Concert Hall, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. The opera, Le Nose di Figaro, will be playing Friday and Saturday from 7.30 to 8 p.m. On Friday, Celtic Knights will perform at the George S. and Dolores Dorr Eccles Center for Performing Arts. Tickets are $29 to $69. And for theater this week, She Loves Me plays Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7.30 to 10. Support the Geography Club Valentine's Day fundraiser starting this Wednesday at OSH and going through Friday. You can buy roses and chocolates for $3 each or both for $5. In other campus events, Beach Volleyball Olympic gold medalist Misty May Trainer will be speaking at the Union Ballroom on Wednesday night. All university students can get two free tickets at the Union front desk. Utah's Natural History Museum is putting on a Utah's animal events on Saturday. This event gets you up and close with some of Utah's wildlife. In Salt Lake City, there are some events you can attend. On Monday, the Harlem Globetrotters 2014 tour is at the Energy Solutions Arena. Tickets are $20 to $130. This week is the last week to see Sleeping Beauty by Ballet West. Tickets there are $27 to $75. Wednesday, the Jazz will be playing the 76ers at the Energy Solutions Arena at 7 p.m. And Thursday is the Axis Freestyle Halfpipe Competition. The snowboarding event will be held at Park City Mountain Resort. All of these events can be great Valentine's Date. If you need another, Harmon's at City Creek is having a chocolate tasting event at 6.30 on Valentine's Day. Men's basketball went 2-0 over the weekend, beating the two Washington schools by a combined 27 points. This Thursday, the Utes travel to Southern California to face USC, and then Saturday, the Utes play UCLA. Women's basketball team also played over the weekend. They suffered a loss to the Oregon Ducks and are hoping to bounce back against Oregon State on Monday. And our fourth-ranked Red Rocks took on 13th-ranked Arizona and got the win, posting their highest score of the season, a 197.825. And congratulations to coach Greg Marsden on becoming the first collegiate gymnastics coach to a thousand career wins. The opening ceremonies for the Winter Olympics were on Friday. There are several Utes that will be competing in downhill alpine skiing. Watch Stephen Nyman. For the biathlon, watch Annalise Cooks. And for the cross-country skiers to look for are Brian Gregg and Torin Coos. That's it for us here at the Inside Swoop. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.